Hello everybody, it's SD Medhaven here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the T-29. This is a, well, it, it's been in the game forever. Now, it, it's gone through some debuffs, it's gone through some buffs, but it's a tank that I haven't played in an extremely long time. And I had a buddy just tell me, pull it out, get a review out, play some matches in it. So that's what, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to see how this tank holds up in the matchmaking in the five years it's been since I've played it. Now, whenever I say five years, I really mean five years. So this is on WOT Stars. You can check out your stats. You can go over basically anything on here related to World of Tanks. Now, this is my T29. This is the date the T29 was last played. 8-2 of 2015. That is quite some time. So, the T29, it has always held up good inside the matchmaking. You know, it's used on the T34 and the T30, which is a Tier 9 tank destroyer and a Tier 8 premium heavy tank. So, first things first, jumping straight into the engine here. 800 horsepower overall, 12.4, 35 top speed, 12 reverse speed. You know, it, it's not that mobile, but... It, it's it's what the tank is inside of the tier. The chassis and the turret have been used on a tier 9 and a tier 8. It just holds up really well. It's got a 105 gun whenever it's fully upgraded. 11.4 seconds. 2.3 aim time. 0.42 gun dispersion. You know, but the benefits of the tank is 10 degrees of max gun depression along with the thick turret armor. And then 15 degrees of elevation. Your first speed in your tracks... 25 degrees, 1.1 on hard, 1.5 on medium, 2.6 on soft. You're going to be filling it on the soft. View range at 380. Inside tier 7, you're capable of sacrificing coded optics depending on how good your crew is. Now, radio range, we'll jump into that on another video later in the future after the updates to go on. But here we go, jumping into the 105 ammunition. Or 945 meters per second on your standard AP rounds, 1,181 meters on your APCR. AP readjust by 5 degrees on impact, APCR readjust by 2 degrees on impact. And then the high explosives on this tank are not that bad either. The crew, located all over the place, the weak spot on top, which is the hatch, people like to aim for that a lot, is where your commander is located, which means you have a very high possibility of your commander being knocked out. Now, the armor of this tank... Taking a look at the front, the gun mantle, 279. Um, if they go through it, they're probably loading premium, and you're being shot by a Yagaru. <laughs> Behind that, 228, 215. The 203 on the left side against higher tiers, if they're thinking about it, they can go through that cheek with premium. Uh, occasionally, they can go through it with standards as well. Other than that, tank holds up extremely well. You don't see 10s, you see 9s. So yeah, you know, tier 7 variation. The back hatch on this, however, is 178, and it's got a really good slope, so even if they're aiming at it, it's still extremely hard to hit. Side armor at 127, really good for side scraping. Occasionally, it's going to bounce off, off the side of it if they hit the lower part or the top part. 122 in the front, those are where the tracks are located, it's additional armor. 102 overall on the front plate. 76 millimeters on the side. Yeah, side scraping. This tank can side scrape like a boss. Now, your machine gun port in the front is a weak spot at 70 millimeters. Your lower plate's also 70 millimeters, so, you know, just stay hull down. Find some good positioning. Rear armor at 51 millimeters. Going to help really prevent high explosives from going through. Honestly, the way that this tank is set up, it has been holding together for a really long time. And 138 all along the top of this tank means that the only things that are going to be overmatching this are 120 millimeters and above. So 122s from an IS or, you know, being shot at by a tier 9 or some tier 8s. Other than that, this tank holds up fantastic. Now, I am playing with Blade today, so we're going to do a double duo. He's going to be pulling out his Minuteman. I got my T29. Blade, you want to introduce yourself? Hey, what's up, everybody? I am ready to go, man. Onwards. You know, I don't think I've done a live recording since my uh, last 
computer, which absolutely sucked. Had to do nothing but live recordings. You know, sit back, do, do one, and then it's all like, oh, snap, okay, <laughs> you know. Yeah. <laughs> so the standard shells on the T29 have 198 pin. The premium shells have 245. 245 is a little bit lacking, but it is, it's up there and it's enough penetration to go through most. Please tell me there's no artillery. There's <laughs> 10 of them on the enemy team. You ready? I'm ready. All right. Now there's only two. It's an equalizer and an M44. You know, like, like Vili, like Valley, this map is perfect for the T29. Absolutely perfect. So, by the end game results, we're going to see if I have a mark on this or not. And, uh, I swear, I killed that audio. Yeah, as you can see, it's a little slow. Dragging along. Honestly, though, T29, it just holds up so well inside the matchmaking. They are slow, though. Yeah, my reload right now is 9.33. But you're actually a little faster than I am. I am just... Uh, well, the Miniman's got all that space armor. armor. Yep. Yeah, carrying a little so extra it weighs armor. you down. Your top speed's probably the same, but you just got all that extra weight behind you. Right. And two artilleries that are pounding away. <coughs> oh, oh, that hurt. <coughs> Come on. So trying to get out of the uh, range of artillery, but, you know, we're up against eights right now. I think I might have to load premium against the ISM. <coughs> See if we can show it that uh. side armor. I think at some point we just gotta push up. Ah, uh, the hell with it. <laughs> no. Oh look, I can see artillery. The only question is, can you hit the artillery? Oh. I don't know how I missed him. Right. Uh, 10 degrees of gun depression on this heavy tank the t29 yeah you know it's it's always going to hold up well inside this kind of matchmaking it can be up against tier 9 still do good tier 10s still do good well may, maybe not tier 10s but the tier 9 yeah, matchmaking know, it kind of sucks trying to shoot through fire <laughs> yes it does Finally got the See, ISM. I hit, his, I hit his hatch and damaged his fuel tank. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. I'm almost dead. You're fine. I've done nothing. You're fine. I've done nothing. Artillery's going to take me out. Yep. Told you. <laughs> uh, every bit of damage that was done to me was done by artillery. You know, the T29, yeah. Blade, whenever you were running out your T29, how much did you like it? Oh, I loved it. Yeah, I just it. all the way. It's still, I still have it. It's still my favorite tank. I mean, it, it just, everything that it does inside the matchmaking, it, it holds up. You know, even after up. all the debuffs that they've put on it, everything else that they've done to it, it is still one of the most used tanks in the game. Well, I mean, it's a tier seven that you can 
I mean, it'll easily pen a tier 9. Oh, without a doubt. You know. I mean, it's got a tier 9 gun on it. I mean, let's face it, it's got a 90 millimeter. A tier 9 gun or a tier 8 gun? I think it's a tier 9. I, I believe it's a tier 8. If it was a tier 9, you'd be looking at like 226 base pin, not 198. All, right. All I know is that I never had a problem pinning a nine in it, ever. <laughs> Just because <laughs> of how well standard, it holds up. With standard rounds and, and bouncing, as long as you can get hull down. Oh, yeah. We might have to put two matches in this tank. Yep. Is that the second time I've broken his engine? I think that's the second time I've broken his engine. And now we're bouncing off the lower plate of the low. You know what? I'm done. We're going to go try to see what we can do head to head. Get the driver back. There we go. Low's probably going to get us. Oh, artillery! Nope, artillery. Uh, honestly, though, the, the T-29, it still holds up. You know, I mean, th this match, we we had uh, underperforming tier 8s. You know, this this guy, AMX 65 ton, just kicking it up top. But other than that, you know, T-29... Well, if it wouldn't have been from artillery. Work. Oh, yeah, artillery, too, you know. I mean, we'd have had a lot better match because there was nothing there that I couldn't pin. It was just I couldn't take the artillery hit. Damn, it's just strong. Ah, oh, damn. Amx. Well, let's let's put another match inside this and call it good. Go ahead. You know? Get a better. Get a little better map, maybe. Yeah. Less artillery. So 14 <laughs> shots fired, 13 direct hits, 8 penetrations. Kind of wish I managed to get those pins on the low. I think aiming in towards the drive would have been a better choice rather than his lower plate. You see how many tanks did absolutely nothing, me included? <laughs> Come on, Blade. Half the team, you're, you're half fine. The team, didn't, half the team didn't pin a shot. All right. Over half the team didn't pin Grab a shot. Grab your Miniman. I am. I am. Remember? Slow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I actually wonder where the uh, damage standing is in my T-29. Because this is one of those learning curve tanks. You know, oh, I learned first, first match I, learned I put in it in a while. Yeah. I learned a lot. 54%, you know, five, five years and I'm at 54%. You know, that's still pretty good. And the... And, you know, the Minuteman with the space armor allows you to over-angle. Oh, yeah. What, what is it, 40 bit. millimeters on the Minuteman? Yep. I think so. Yeah, helps, 40, it helps out a lot. Yeah, 40 millimeter space. Yep, sure does. Team destruction. I'll look more tier 8s. It's fine. We got this. Team destruction this time. Okay, I am going right. <laughs> you, I'm Just going. You know, I'm, I'm going up. to my normal. I'm going to go to my normal. I can't say though. T twenty nine. You know, it's it's play style is so easy to learn. And it, it's honestly just a really good learning tank. It's got enough spaced armor to handle anything you throw at it. Well, not enough spaced armor, but enough side armor to side scrape any gun in the game. It's top armor. As long as it's not 120 millimeters, you should be able to, you know, prevent them from going through.
No, this view range is really good. 380 and a yeah, tier I'm seven. Sit yeah, it's right down here on this corner. Really nice. <laughs> Critical hit, no damage. So how's the bottom looking? Nothing so far? Not good. Oh no, there's all kinds of shit over here, man. You're fine. You got it. Oh, look at the premium shooting. <laughs> Don't forget we're recording. I kept it civil. <laughs> Left side's probably going to be falling apart here in a second. Yep, time for me to uh, back up. Get those faster traveling rounds with the uh, APCR. Yeah, we're going to need some help over here. This it is not looking good here. Alright, so it's me wow. and I have six now on left. <laughs> I'd really like to know how that stone cold shot me from where he was at. But, okay. That was just stupid. <laughs> and I was playing, I, I was having such good matches, and then I start playing with you, and now it's all just gone to uh, shit. <laughs> It's all your fault, man. <laughs> There's so much red around you, I can't even see your <laughs> yellow dot. <coughs> yeah. You know, 2,500 though, and I mean, look at that, complete steamroll. That was ridiculous. <laughs> that went perfectly fine, what are you talking about? I mean, I had a few bounces, uh, qu quite a few. But, yeah. It's not too bad. Well, you know, T29 still holds up. Matchmaking today was not kind to us. So, Blade, how do you feel about your T29 overall? Just matchmaking, holding up well, and... Well, in the proper matchmaking, it's awesome. You know, especially uh, whenever you're top tier. You know, it, it, it does a lot. Yeah. But when you get caught in matches like this, I don't care what you're in. <laughs> you know? Yeah, well, T29, you know. The grind's definitely worth it. Whenever you do get the tank covered, the package grind, getting everything unlocked and going up it, it's a little bit of a pain. Once you get that 90 millimeter, though, 
honestly, the 90 millimeter does a lot. Now, faster reload. You can load premium. 90 millimeter can be just as competitive as the 105 if you're loading premium. But the 160 base pin is a little bit of a pain in the butt. Other than that, you know, it's definitely a tank worth keeping and keeping inside your garage. Oh, I actually still have it. <laughs> well, you know, you, you guys got to see my first two matches and after five years. And, you know, too bad we didn't get a win. But, hey, you know, it, hold it. it held its ground. It held its ground extremely well. So, until next time, you guys have a great day, great night, whatever time you're watching it. A couple months past, you know. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. If you guys want to see a tank later in the future, let me know, and I'll try my best to get it out. Till then, have a great time.